on? Are we yes, asleep? True, are yes. we up? Yes. We sleep or we <laughs> up? Okay, I'm glad we up. Let's go ahead and um let's see. Did I load it? I did not. I did not load it. And that's because it was long. So I thought I would just go ahead and play it for y'all. Um, we're gonna listen to Ariane Curry, y'all. Y'all watched our reviews. We all went viral this week talking about this shit okay <laughs> ariana curry the mistress the side chick whatever you want to call her got her ass up on tasha k's platform and made a complete bird fool out of herself and <laughs> after everybody has given their opinions you can go to all our separate channels to hear our separate opinions about it because we have all told y'all about it she got online and she decided to give her response OK, um, and she was on live with people. So this is basically. People are asking questions, y'all. So I want y'all to you know, know that there are other people in the live. Um, but just some of the things that she was saying, reiterating some of the most ignorant moments. <laughs> I want us to just go ahead and, you know, take a little listen, a little look. See, let me get this picture off of it. OK, do y'all see? Do y'all see the girl? All right. Yeah, we're we here. Yes. We're ready. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and play it. Can y'all hear it? No. No. Okay. Y'all can't hear it? Okay. That means I gotta, I gotta, there we go. All right. The show wasn't even, you kept the show relevant. That's the only reason why I watched the shit. Yeah. To see what was really gonna pop off, you know. See, if your show ends on Thursday, they were gonna keep on using my life, they gonna keep on talking around me. So many people say that. Um, y'all, we, we all know, y'all, at the end of the day, y'all wanna see Ariana, y'all wanna see me and Marcel film, y'all wanna see his interaction with me, y'all wanna see what it was, the goose, his man, and y'all gonna see this girl, how she hold it down. Let's be clear, that's what I wanna see. Y'all, oh, hey, intimidated by the daddy, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. The man, he loved, you know, it was so obvious on that reunion, I was sitting here like, that motherfucker love that girl. Okay, so before we get into the next little clip, let's let's start with this first one. What does one bird say to the other? That's what I got here. Girl, I mean, and here's my thing. When she keeps, the women who come on here, first of all, the woman who she was talking to in that first clip, y'all, um, this lady at the bottom here, like, that's no disrespect to this lady. This lady came on there as a wife, but she was like, you know, but you know what I realized, you know, different from what I was doing back when I was young, you know, I messed with a married man and I got paid and thought da, 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 but now she's married. So now that she's married, you know, her automatic thing was to think, oh, that girl wrong. But then she was like, I can't judge her because I've done worse. And listen, this is what I want. And this is the reason why I want to talk about this clip. Nobody is saying that this girl is like the worst thing ever in life and that we all have not done things that were just as messed up or along those same lines. Cause I ain't never slept with no married man, girl. I ain't never did that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never had pregnant by no married man. I ain't never did that. I ain't never want to do that, but I have cheated on people and I have gotten cheated on. So I keep it in the same vein as that at the end of the day, you still hurting somebody. You still not taking their feelings into consideration. You still being selfish. You still playing your part and not giving a fuck when it came to whatever you wanted to do. Right. So when she comes and talks all of the shit that she talks, y'all, and to other women, I'm just like, so do you women need to feel a pat on the back for the dog ass shit y'all did in y'all young days? Is that why y'all come to this young woman's ignorant ass aid and tell her that this man loves her when a true evolved human being could see that this man does not have the capacity to love Ariane because he does not love himself because he defiles himself as well as his marriage, as well as his kids, as well as her when he called her a peasant. And to be clear, the reason why he views her as a peasant is because back in the day when kings had mistresses, those mistresses were poor girls, peasants. That's why they could not be with them because they were kings and they were supposed to be with women who would be queens, not the young, you know, hot girl, like she called herself spicy young thing or whatever. And she sees herself. Cream of the crop. Okay. Cream of the crop. Those girls were peasants back in the day. So Martel saw himself as a king with a queen and you as his mistress, a.k.a. his peasant, that was there to make him feel good about himself when his wife made him feel inadequate. But either way, what do y'all think about this first part of the clip, girl? What she said, girl? Foolishness. Despair. Foolishness. It was, it's, it's sad to tonight. It's, it's stupid. 
it's she's a coalition. It's a, it's bullshit to me. But let her. She's gonna be gluing her whole life. She needs to fix it. Jamie, um, it's the people pandering to her for me. <sighs> That's what I can't. I just can't. It's it's hard to digest the child pandering to this woman and then really hyping her up to believe that this show is about her. Dear, this show ain't about you, dear heart. And if this show is so about you, how are you still not capitalizing off of it? It's not adding mm. up for me. And you still out here. It, it's, it's like, this is why we don't like you. It ain't even the act of what you did, to be honest. It's really you and the attitude that you're taking on. This is the same shit that you was doing when you first came out and started talking. Before everybody knew you, somebody put your info out there. When you felt comfortable enough to start talking, you start doing a lot of running your mouth because you thought that was going to help you get on the show and it only made people dislike you more. See, most side chicks that do stuff and are ashamed and want to take accountability, they fade into the background. But that's not what you're doing. You're literally walking around like you own this show. The audacity. I, I, I can't. I She's cannot. getting more from this show than she could ever get from Martell. Mm. And I feel like the mind is an extremely powerful thing because listening to her talk and listening to the women hopping on her live, it's clear that there are women whose confidence and self-value is here, which is Ariane, um, and women whose confidence and self-value is here, like Mel. And what we're seeing is you saying so many contradictory things like, oh, I'm the cream of the crop, yet he would never wife you. Yet you don't aspire to marriage because you don't understand your self value to even see yourself as a wife. You out here trying to get it by any means necessary. It's bird by bird behavior. And they think that because you got a check and you're ruffling people's feathers who you know are better than you. Plain I'm, simple, you got a check though. You got a check. Who, 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 I'm talking who about Martel. Okay. I'm talking about Martell. Martell financing her life. Barely. Okay? Because I know mm. you're not even getting that much. What is rent in Huntsville? Girl, if you really was cream of the crop, you would demand more. Tragic. Girl, I'm trying still trying to figure out how you do all this sucking and fucking and had a baby, but you did all of this when this man was married. Now you got him. You talking about y'all too damaged to be together. Find the nearest corner. Stay in it. Find Let's the nearest corner. corner. Uh, so, okay, um, like I said during the interview, um, she got to lie about the situation. Um, the, the slander is enough that she does towards me. I, I, apology for what? Because he was a married man. I understand everything. Um, he wasn't. Listen. Okay, let me explain that. Married or not, he pursued me. Um, if women who need to learn to check their husbands versus somebody who be going after her, like, I wasn't the only one, so right. why am I um, going down to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm really not going to be funny. I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm really going to understand. Like, I mean, I come back with the interview. You all get it from the parents. Um, yeah. I guess it works in my chest. I'm going to go with it because it's like, I understand what you're saying. That both of you guys are adults. You know, y'all, you know, made that agreement of, you know, stepping out on... He was stepping out on his wife. But the thing... I, wasn't, I, didn't, think, I, didn't, I, I didn't think that was her. Tom? I didn't think that was with her. I didn't stand in front of her. But at the end of the day, that was. But did I, did I not address that? Did you see the interview? Did I, did I not address that? Did I take 100% accountability for my actions and responsibility for, you know, um, I took responsibility for it, but um, as far as like crazy, I, I'm not. I'm not. She had a whole platform built off of my likeness. So it's nothing to apologize for. At this point, she needs to move forward and bring out your suit. Yeah. Well, I agree on that part as far as you. Okay. So no, apology for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, for what? Like, um, Y'all want to make it seem like I'm just some, um, and I, I don't want to use any tough words because y'all always heard of that tough too much, but um, yeah, like, I mean, I'll be, it's been three years now, I'm going to divorce. Yeah. Are you married? Yes, ma'am. You are married? Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm definitely happy for you. Um, a lot of wives take out their, um, <laughs> um, their own personal situations. <laughs> <laughs> I became America's mistress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Well, I just want to say this. Look, I'm talking from experience. Um, never had to deal with infidelity, thank God. But what I'm saying is, he needs to be a.
accountable for their actions. Yes, you did, you know, acknowledge that on the on the interview. I did, yeah. but I found that, you know, I, I acknowledge it. I, I don't know what time, I don't know what time think that I was supposed to, do. I mean, um, carry on, carry on. I'm not about to sit up here and just be on my knees, get like, no, ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, before we get into that last part. So the thing that kills me is that when people ask her, why, you know, why won't you apologize to Mel? And I think people are saying that because you keep talking about how you want to be on the show. So what you mm -hmm. need to understand is that to be on the show you need to be on Mel's good side and she refuses to like accept that so nobody's asking for you to beg but if you're going to turn to the camera and make all of these statements to own about how they keep using your likeness which is really gaslighting them into letting you on the show that's really what you're doing with this language that you're using but it's just crazy to me the way she continues to like, why do I need to apologize? She capitalized off the situation. Ma'am, what does that matter? Why should Mel not capitalize off her marriage? You did. You did when you took those gifts from Martel. Where did you think those gifts were coming from? His private account, bitch. It was coming from the joint money that they were making because they were in business together. Now, if you were getting on, money off when he had his little teacher's check that's a different story but ever since mel and martel went into business together anything that you got from that man was from mel so when you talk about capitalizing off a situation ma'am you you've already done it <laughs> like girl what <sighs> y'all i can't and then she tried to fix her voice when she said you're doing all this big talk and then you find out she's married oh you're married oh, oh, uh, um well, I'm happy um, for you. Um, okay, she um, kept saying well. that. Oh, you married? I'm happy I'm for not. you. No, you're not. You're mad. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you said that, Jamie, because I want to address that comment that she made about a lot, a lot of wives like to project their issues on you. I'm more than sure there are a lot of mad women um, out here that look at you and see whatever woman their man cheated on them with. I'm sure. But girl, let me tell you, I am 33. And I have never been put in that situation and I'm still a young girl. So we're having a different conversation. <laughs> okay. You're not talking to one of them old hoes as you put it. Okay. You talking to a young hoe. Okay. You talking to a young hoe whose husband has not cheated on her that I know of child, but I kill him dead. Um, you know what I'm saying? But either way, I just kind of feel like I, I'm in a position to say this to you. You sound dumb. You sound so immature and so stupid. And this is not coming from a place of looking at you like you some girl. Trust me. I wish that we could make you more likable. I wish that you would stop talking so much and then be likable. But the more you open up your mouth, the more we see how ignorant and dumb you are, girl. I cannot. Y'all talk. I can't. Yeah, I I'm think it made perfect you. sense why she is the way she is. When I watched... Uh, her interview and listening to her talk right here, yeah. everything she said took me back to the standards in which Martel holds women. He would get so frustrated with Mel because Mel would not submit to being dumb, playing dumb. She wouldn't allow him to cheat on her. She didn't have this logic of that's just the way the game go. Martel knows that that type of woman is best for him to get over, best for him to lay with multiple times, pay for terminations, this, that, and third, and lay with her again. But he knows that that's not a wife. And again, here she goes saying, women need to address their husbands. There she go with that, that's just a part of the game type logic. And it's like, if you knew the game so damn well, you wouldn't have committed yourself to one man for six years. If mm. it was a game for you, you'd have been out here in these streets. And the reason why y'all's relationship is so damaged is because you know that although Martel acts like he values you physically for sex, you know you would never be looked at as a wife in his eyes. And to me, what's frustrating is that you had opportunities to redeem yourself, but I can't see how anybody else would look. You gonna say on the interview, what I got from the show wasn't worth what I went through. You making yourself look worse because if it's a game for you, 
and I'm a man who has money to have you as a side chick, I'm not even going to look at you like that because you branded yourself as Martell Holt side chick. So hmm. if you were smart, you wouldn't keep branding yourself. And I think she needs to look up the definition of likeness. She talked right. about how she came on the interview and she discussed with producers and they shot a scene. You gave them allowance to use your name and voice in that episode and you didn't get shit from it. And that's so why like, she made it. Right. And, and it's even more dumb that she's using the word likeness because I'm like, you only have a likeness case if the general public's idea of side chick immediate, immediately thinks of Ariane Curry. But you keep banging this in our minds and popping up on our damn timelines. It's like you're really trying to make that correlation. Go to sleep. Get you some damn counseling. Oh, Jamie, the people need you to do the two parent household. Oh, two parent. Two parent household. Right. And, and that's when I knew she didn't finish no damn nursing school when she couldn't even name class lab. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Electrolyte. Yeah. Girl, let's play the end of this and then we'll just, you know, uh, just talk about a few things from the original interview that I want to just talk about that I didn't talk about, which was the fact that they were pregnant at the same time twice. And we knew that because we talked to her. Uh, to Mel, you know, y'all check out the interview we did with Mel for the Ooh Ladies first panel, but um, we won't talk about that after, but let me play this and we'll continue on. And people give a fuck about these people. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I know. And I want to start a blog. Y'all, like I said, I have a lot of people laying in real life. Like, I, it blows my mind that I don't care. Like, I just be like... <laughs> yeah, like, I was just and I just feel like Instagram. Joker-like smile. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it is. She don't seem as though she's capitalizing off of the situation, you know, not taking away from your business, but you have a small business that you don't use your, your situation as a front for it. You don't see every time you upload a post, it's a hashtag. Whoever this person is, is so slow. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to chime in. I think my live. So I'm like, let me ask her because I see a lot of people making you seem like you said America's mistress, but it seems though what does that mean? Before they were presented to America. So you think that I don't have a mind? You think I should hashtag all oh, my business? Love America. No, I don't think you should. It's oh, not, no, that's how you were. You might as well. How was she portrayed that way? I'm like, well, don't seem as though that's the case. And I watched a little bit of your interview. When I watched your interview, I didn't see two. I didn't see anything that was like malicious. If you get what I'm you saying, didn't? I didn't see anything malicious, or you were using a bitter situation to capitalize off of. I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, because it took me so long to even say something. I thought these people were going to get a license and be able to discuss something else that was going on. Yeah, because it's so serious. And it's like, if you want the fucking episode to them see this, then why? Yeah, I honestly thought it was going to be over, guys. They forced me to say something from this last reunion. Like, I, I, I'm not into drama. I've never been that girl. I, I've never been. I've always been a sweet person. And, like, regardless of what situation I got myself into, but you know, I thought they were going to stop talking about me one day, but I can see that now that they have nothing else to talk about, that Ariane is the, the top. And that's where I'm going to end it. Um, I would just like to say, Ariane, girl, you are right. You are absolutely the talk. But the truth of the matter is people love to hate people. And you make people love to hate you because you continuously get up here and say things that make regular people like really dislike you strongly. The linebacker comment that you continue to make as if a woman being bigger makes you better than her. When what exactly do you have like, what do you have exactly besides your little boutique that you need to make those linebacker women your 30% off code using? And another thing is that person who was talking to her, making it seem like she was better than Mel because she didn't capitalize off the situation. Girl, if y'all don't stop being stupid together, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I cannot. I want I want Ariane to truly enjoy this moment for what it is and all of the attention that you're getting at this time. When this fades away, you will continue to be known as Thank you, the side chick that had a baby by a married man. When all of this is done, all this hype you got, these thousands of views, people tune in. That's why I hope when they come back, they remember I, I don't know if y'all saw my review when I just pretty much asked like where are we going from here in the next season because I mm -hmm. ain't really want Martell and them bickering yeah. I cannot wait We've until all your likeness ain't even a like like it's not even a, a a breath of air like it's nothing 
When this moment is dead, then what? You're going to be searching to be a part of, which is what you've been out here doing anyway from the moment that you started talking. Did y'all see the disappointment in her face when she told Tasha she thought she was going to be on the show and then she looked at the ground? Did y'all see that? Girl, you want this moment so bad. That's Thank why you, and, and you're, not, you're still not managing it right. Thank still you. not doing it right. She not what's crazy, what's crazy is she don't get had you stopped fucking him after season one, you would be a topic. If she didn't one. get pregnant by him, Jay Lee, that was not even, I think say. you got pregnant weird. with him during the after the pandemic happened. Right. It's weird that she keeps talking about showing about her, but it's, it's not the reason you fucked somebody's husband. So they're going to speak about that. But it's like, it's not about you. No one tunes in for you. No one cares about you. I think even her having the whole bitches that you don't even promote. You wore a, you wore a fucked up outfit on a show that you the knew buttons. would get a lot of the views. The buttons. The right buttons. So you don't even know how to how to put yourself together right. I think you look better on social media than on the out. It, it's, it's stupid. So I feel like she, somebody asked in two years, would she be in two years, she would be the same that she is not. At home with two kids and, and single. Because she not even like-minded enough to know she needs to grow from this like it, it doesn't make it she really just feels like it's my likeness but like this show won't even go on forever and everyone else is like like everyone making money off you but you everyone and then she's gonna talk about something everybody then she's gonna say she won't give any youtubers any attention or something like that like she wants to somebody say would you do an interview Maybe with funky Funky Dineva. Dineva. Yeah. yeah oh he's too small i wouldn't smaller dare. YouTubers? what she said funky was small that's yes, why i wouldn't give her did. ass a subscribe that's why i wouldn't she give did. her ass a subscribe for nothing i was like nah bitch if you do something i'll come and see but i ain't subscribing to but she, she's saying she's she's like i don't know i already put out six people i love the marriage house i already put them out no bitch melody and martel did that not you i already put them out so why would i put these small youtubers on bitch you already did sorry ma'am <laughs> you already did Hi. You already they've you capitalized already a lot. So you already did. The, sh the show we got picked up before they knew about the affair. The show right. got picked up based on them. Clownery. So you didn't make any damn body. Period. And she so said that. She said that when they first started talking about the show, it was supposed to be about construction. So she knew about the show before they got greenlit. Uh -huh. So she knew after the fact. So I, I was just sitting up there like, girl, Martel disrespected his marriage big time. So sad. Thank you, Wasada. I feel like she thought that I think Martel was lying to her and telling her that he was gonna leave Mel and that this show was gonna like jumpstart his career and he was gonna leave Mel, but he never had any intentions on leaving Mel. Mel no. left him. And I think that another thing that bothered me about her during the interview was her constantly talking about how Martel took care of you and how good of a guy Martel is while simultaneously trying to paint Mel as a woman that wasn't cooking and cleaning or fucking her husband good enough to right. keep him. So she her must not have been doing with her and her mama. Right. Her and her mama wasn't in there cooking and cleaning. I'm like, girl, why are you always trying to put yourself in a placement that makes it seem as if you're better than Mel? Like, why are you doing that? And then to turn around and say, these married women need to check their husband, bitch. We would check our husbands if we didn't have to have you on the phone talking about put your husband on the phone. You and deserve just to get talk? checked. Can we talk about how she tried to uh, make a difference between her 20s versus her 30s? Girl. Like, you 30, 31, but you just had a baby at, like, 29, 30 when you got pregnant by this man. Like, why are you trying to sit up here and act like, okay, what I knew in my 20s versus what I know now? Girl, you, the baby barely won. So why uh -huh. are you trying to make a big a big distinction between the two? Like, cut it out. You still don't know and no better. Keep, then you sit up here and ain't got no... No remorse. Say what? She does keep defending her, defending her actions. actions. So she'll Yo, say, like, I'm growing up, yes, I'm getting older. That's... But she'll she'll say, I'm older now, but she'll defend you, what she you. did with a married man. So it's, it's weird <clears throat> that she thinks she's grown and don't realize she hasn't. But he's Sad. already demonstrated capacity to leave a wife. So how confident if you're in a relationship, will you feel right, 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 right? Because once, and then another thing is they never realize that once they get the nigga, he ain't what you thought he was. Now that you're getting him all of the time and not just part time. Go ahead, Nisi. The interesting thing about Ariane is this comment made me think. Okay, so before hearing her speak out, I thought she was your typical side chick, dating a man, hoping he gonna leave his wife. 
Um, you know, I thought she was a typical side chick, but no, she used every opportunity in the book to show us that she was nothing but a bird or a trick because she does not aspire to have a real relationship with him. She explained even from the time they met, it was nothing but a damn arrangement. Like y'all conversation probably weren't hidden for nothing. You was his therapist for him to complain about his wife. And it goes back to women doing things for men, how we kind of talked about it in our sex segment. Oh, I'm better than you because I can take more of this or I'm better. She took pride in him basically ejaculating all his anger for his wife and his hate for his wife on her. Mm -hmm. It is just sad. It, it is just so sad listening to her talk because it's like, I really gave her benefit of the doubt by thinking that she wanted to be with this man. She don't want to mm -hmm. be with him because she knows that she's not deserving of that. And I'm like, every opportunity you prove us that you are worse than average side chicks. Exactly. exactly. Then she said dating like, girls make men drool and they all have pretty did. hair. So basically side hoes bill is dating. What are you trying to say? I also don't like how ignorant all of those things sound, sound like the body shaming. Oh, we got pretty hair. Like, girl, what in the ignorant shit is you talking about? Go ahead, JB. It's weird to me that she would allow him to come to her and unload about his wife. If I'm yes. if, if I'm dating you or if I'm if I'm if I was fucking a married man, I don't want to hear about your bitch. I don't want to hear nothing about your wife. And the fact that you have all this information about Mel, about my soul, and Tisha and Kimmy and Maurice, he can't. You was a good girlfriend because he came and you snitching, or just Work the fact out. that you and you didn't get anything from it is 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 dumb to me. It made me feel like she knew he just wanted her for sex. And she was fine mm -hmm. with that. And that's why now she felt like I don't have to say sorry because I wasn't, you know, her husband. But it's like, how can you say Thank I'm you, grown? Mel but Kubar. still keep saying, I don't owe Mel an apology. Bitch, you exactly. fucked her husband and had a baby. The difference like, is she said, I was only oh, I was the only one. Them other and, women was around five years and they did not get pregnant that we know of. And if, and if and they, they would have called Mel... Pregnant. And told her to put her husband on the phone. They will owe Mel an apology too, bitch. Right. Thank you, Johnny, for the super chat. I don't understand, or Joni. I don't understand how she has a not animosity for Mel, but can't understand how Martel has and continue to pimp her. He is making money off this narrative and has never stepped in to correct it. And that's another thing. He's also capitalizing off this narrative that's being put out there about you ma'am but yet you still you know oh he was so good to me martel's a good guy and he just needs um he just needs therapy but yes y'all let me tell y'all about the baby thing so she said that her and mel were pregnant at the same time once they were pregnant at the same time twice, twice. from what we understand the first mm -hmm. time is when mel got pregnant with sugar mama ariane was pregnant at the same time but had an egg OK. And so then when Ariane got pregnant with the little boy that she has now, Mel was also pregnant, but had an A because she was about to divorce Martel because Martel was still dogging her out. So when homegirl said that he wasn't calling me during the pandemic, well, he had to be because you were pregnant and you had a new baby. And we know how Martel loves to check on his kids. So, you know, he was calling you. And I also think that every time he come over, you come over about the baby. Y'all are probably fucking. Go ahead, Jay. I just want to say about this whole abortion, um, this termination thing, whatever. <laughs> when she had it the first time, she said that's not what she wanted for her life. So you wanted it at a later time for your life? When you were in, deeper in it, like that's not even adding. Like I'm confused. You, I would think you you still don't want it for your life, but you did because that's giving competition with male. And I just could not. Can we talk about how Martel was so disrespectful to share such private information about his Ooh. wife's medical history with her? And then for her to go to Tasha and talk about 
mail like she was a part of the marriage or a third party, but the shit that you actually were privy to, like Maurice Marceau, we still haven't gotten real details. But when you come to the third party aspect of it, you talk in confidence like you had a front row seat and you were directly involved in that. That's the sh that be getting me. Oh yeah, we should talk about how she slept with the lawyer. Talking about the lawyer right. fiance with they followed me on Instagram. Like, I'm like, that's not your business. And and, and Mel's business. friends came back and told Martel that they were having sex. Yes. And I was just like, girl, you were so yes. excited to say that Mel was having sex with that attorney. Like, and I'm I'm glad that Tasha said, Well, I don't think anybody blames Mel for that. I was like, Thank you, Tasha. And I'm gonna tell y'all, when y'all watch it back. I know y'all may not have realized it, but Tasha had a lot of times that she was playing in that girl face. To me, the fact that yes. she kept saying, they can't call you nothing yeah. but a mistress. That's playing in your face, bitch. Neither one of those things are good. But she was too <laughs> stupid to realize it. She kept, she, Tasha kept on low blows and she just wasn't catching it. Cause she's stupid. It was one moment that stuck out to me when Tasha, Ariane was getting excited talking about um, Mel. She was like, she had a choice. And Tasha said, you both had a choice. And she said, oh, you're right. We both had a choice. Yeah. You're trying to make it look like on one hand, she's dumb for trying to make Staying. it work with her right. husband because right. you had been with him for three years. But on the other hand, you not getting nearly as much as a wife will get. You're even more dumb for trying to continue to make it work with a man who's married. When if Martel was just work to you, you could have went anywhere. You look more dumb than them. Not even that and Mel then, was done, but she left. And then Mel, when Mel got pregnant with Sugar Mama, that should have let you know that they were still fucking. Because you was thinking that he was going to leave his wife. Remember, they got on the show and he was supposed to be leaving Mel. But he was still very much having sex and doing things with Mel as if they were together trying to get her back and all of that. So she got pregnant by her husband. I don't need nobody asking why Mel was out here, you know, letting him get her pregnant. That's her husband. Go to hell. Okay. If anybody's supposed to be questioning why they got pregnant, it's the bitch that's not Sorry. a wife. Okay. But to me, the fact that she got pregnant even after you were called a peasant, you got pregnant after Mel got pregnant, you absolutely was having some type of imaginary fight with Mel over her husband. And Mel was like, girl, you can have him. And what's even more crazy is how she said Martel was so good at her. Martel dogged you on national television. He called you a peasant. And not only that, the only time he would say good things about you to his wife was to piss his wife off. He used you as a weapon to piss Mel off and hope she would still come back to him. He, you're, you're stupid. It's like I, you got pregnant after being called a peasant. And not only that, he played in your face on national television for three seasons. So it's weird to me. She said, he was nice to me. He treated me good. No, he didn't. I don't want a man who treats me good in private. Period. And it's not, oh, he's not. No, that's private shit. Publicly, you're a peasant. Who he knocked up and he still won't say your name. I want to go back to how funny it was that I remember before we really knew who she was, it was out there that she was a nurse, right? So a lot of, you know, people would be like, that girl a nurse. And thought like that made it, you know, that that upped her, her auntie a little bit that she didn't just work down to the Zara, but she was a nurse. And then we find out that she's not a nurse. She was in school and she didn't finish because of what Ooh. she was going through Martel with Martel in the show. So to me, that tells me that you let a man curtail what you were supposed to be doing for yourself. And to me, that lets it know that you were more than worried about Martel. Not only were you not fucking anybody else, but you also didn't even finish school because you let Martel get you all wrapped up and, you know, in the rapture and all of that type of shit. Girl, I wonder what the dick like. She thought she was securing a bag. Hmm. She thought she was securing a bag. And, and a baby let's bag. be real. That's a, a baby She's bag. Yes. Degrees. Right. A baby bag. That's it. A, a baby bag. A bag. She's get degrees, so that probably oh. got you through your five years of college. She said it was five, but it ain't gonna get you through nursing school. So regardless of Martel, he wasn't gonna finish. Hmm. You're not she that. I'm sorry. Stupid. I hate that. Y'all, I don't like calling other women stupid, but I swear for God, no, I have stupid. never in my life seen somebody just be so, I mean, even, even when she was asking her friend, there was one point on the live where she asked her friend about a comment that was like, well, of course they'll talk about the cheating because it's a part of their story. Their story. Like, what does that mean? What does I that don't mean? get it. What do you, do, you, do, you do you understand? Like, Cause she's stupid. How you didn't get that? But it's like I think we've given her a chance to show us different. 
because people make mistakes. So, but it's like every time she chills with her mouth, it gets worse. Like it's it's never That's a thing it. to where it. it gets better. And it's like, okay, we try we trying to listen. We I I felt like mm-hmm. Tasha would, would give us a part that we would like, you, and you made it worse and worse and worse and worse. I was like, you you don't want people to like you. You don't want to succeed in life because you keep making yourself a victim of your own circumstance. You could have been left him alone and, and let him cheat whoever else. You stayed in it. So we don't like you because you have made yourself not likable. We tried to listen and you we keep did. Being done. Girl, when she said that the story didn't go down that way, when she said that, you know, when Mel found out and she was like, it did not happen that way. That's another false narrative. I was like, all right, girl, tell us something now. Tell us something we didn't know. And then she said, I did I not mean, say yes. put Martell on the fucking phone. I just said put I Martell said, on, the put him on the phone. I it's thought different. she was going to really give us tea. I really thought she was going to give us a narrative for the show. She never did. I'm like, girl, you whack as hell. Your standards for yourself is low <laughs> to the ground, down to hell, and it's embarrassing. And all of this is such a weird flex because she really is considering herself cream with a crop. And I'm like, what crop? The crop in the dust. I think Martell did move her to Huntsville. <laughs> I absolutely think that she was in Ohio and after she graduated or whatever, he moved her. And that's why he she kept saying he was taking good care of me. That means that he put her up in a place. He got her a car, probably hooked her up with, you know, a job down to somewhere. Because I think, um, you know, at one point they were trying to make it seem like she was a waitress somewhere where they all used to frequent. So I feel like he, he was fucking her before then and he got her a job wherever that was at when she moved down there to Huntsville. Thank you, uh, Shine Good for the super chat. Airhead and Martell both admire Mel and because of that, they resent her. So they troll her due to Airhead, uh, due to Airhead will never be a male and Martell will never be man enough for a relationship, for the relationship. Child, in it's really sad because I feel like this could have been an opportunity for her to learn from her mistakes and probably gain something from it. Because if she was a little bit more likable, I think people would have been forgiving because people love to forgive a man for cheating and, you know, the bitch he cheated with. You know, they love to forgive y'all for these things, especially if the, the main woman is somebody that they can find issue with. And they've been trying to find issue with Mel since she came on the show. But I would just like to say, what narrative was she talking about? Because I feel like the only thing they said about you was that you were cheating with Martell and then eventually you got pregnant by Martell and you called Mel and told her, you know, to put her man on the phone and you was, you know, calling, looking for him, blowing his phone up. And you were, you said you were, you called more than once. Stop lying. So I was trying to understand what narrative was she talking about? Because that's all that was said about her. She's just using words that she heard other people say, but she don't really know what they mean, like likeness and narrative. Nigga said, I learned all he has to do is show up at her door and say he want to talk while on his knees for her to give in to giving him the Gluck Gluck 3000. Child, listen, she when she said that, you know, he comes to my door and he's just like, I just want to talk. You don't even have to let me in. I'm like, girl, this nigga must have really been good, y'all. This nigga must have really had that big meat. He must have been slanging that big meat, something dangerous. I don't even think he did, because she's simple. She's a simple bird. I don't think he had to have anything. Really? Mm. Oh, Mel did say anything. she wasn't always. She was like, I wasn't always that. Uh, you know, in that department. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't always that happy in that department. She did throw that out there before, but oh, girl, I was just acting like that nigga wanted her because she was smart, and I was like, girl, he did not want you because you were smart. He wanted you because you had a big old mouth. 